By now, all the students should be back home and all the buses are coming back to base here. And OPS officials and parents are giving grades to those first two bus rides. Students across Omaha can celebrate having one day down, but as these students load the bus at Monroe Middle School, some parents say they're hoping the bus rides go a bit smoother starting on day two. And it didn't show up. OPS officials say bus transport on the first day of school didn't go perfectly, but with tens of thousands of kids and hundreds of bus routes, that's to be expected. Sometimes we'll see that the student uh, misses the bus or the bus misses them again, especially since the routes are not running exactly on time those first few weeks. Tuesday evening, OPS sent emails to parents asking them to drive their students on the first day to make things a little easier on the bus drivers. Because in addition to new routes, the district saw extra new bus riders this year as they changed how far away middle schoolers need to live before they can get a ride. And Monique Farmer with OPS Communications says, that helped. I think this year, um, in terms of what we've seen, uh, has gone a, a slight bit smoother than what we've seen in the past, particularly because some of those parents um, took their kids to school on their own this morning. I'm one of those parents. And she wants to thank parents for their patience and promises they'll get it all worked out. We'll keep working on it and, and, and get the hiccups worked out. As for mom, Wynana Jones, that day can't come soon enough. Being patient is one thing. Um, and I was patient this morning, very patient, but when the bus just doesn't show up at all, that's when it becomes a little bit concerning. According to the district, many of the drivers do get a chance to drive their route before the first day of school, but they say everything changes once you add kids into the mix. Now, if you drove your kids to school but want them to ride the bus later this week or maybe next week, Farmer says not to worry. The bus drivers are aware that more kids will be showing up at the bus stops over the next few days or even weeks. Reporting live, Nicole Goodrich, KETV News Watch 7.